up, FL Studio Producers? This is my psyche. I'm putting together a small tutorial addressing three of the common problems that people run into with uh, delay sounding vocals in the headphones. Um, it's kind of annoying, of course, you know, if a vocalist is trying to lay their tracks down and they're hearing a lot of feedback. So three of the common problems are, one of them is the buffer is not set up correctly. Uh, another one could be uh, there's a double track input. And uh, the third one could be a delay filter is uh, uh, left on in the masters. So we'll go over all three and we'll uh, hopefully be able to give you enough information to resolve this issue. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first spot that we want to cover is the buffer. So the first thing you want to do is basically just go to any track, let's say input 16, and turn the input on so that um, you can actually start hearing the echoing effect, the problem that you're having. Go to options, audio settings, and what you want to do is go to the buffer length area. And in this area, you just want to keep talking into the mic and reducing the amount until you reduce um, the echoing effect in the headphones. If you go too far, you'll notice that you'll actually start creating a distortion. So this really depends on uh, your computer, what it can actually handle. So I can't give you a figure and say, oh, it's going to be 320 um, because that works for me. Uh, it may not work for you. It just depends on the computer. So uh, moving forward, just basically keep talking into the mic until you get it to the point that it sounds nice and clean and you're done with that. You know, you won't ever, once you get that number, um, you'll know exactly where to set it when you're going to do any type of vocals. All right, so let's get rid of this. All right, so I have track 16 set up right now. now let's say I, uh, I open this up and uh, there's a brand new, uh, actually not a brand new project, but I opened up a project that I did previously and I have all these inputs set up with different instruments and so forth. And um, on you know track 13, I had actually done some samples that I uh, recorded into it. So there was an input set up on that track and I forgot to turn it off. So now I'm on 16, I'm trying to do vocals and I'm hearing that double effect again. Well, I know that it's not the buffer because I went through that process and I know my number, so it's all good. So the next step is either checking my labels and saying, oh, look, sample, that must be it. You know, a lot of people label out. It helps them identify what's going on. Uh, if you didn't label out, then it's just a matter of actually click, click, and you're looking here. You know, so as you're clicking, there's nothing, there's nothing. Oh, wait a minute. There's that input. So just come down, shut that off, and you're ready to record. So that takes care of the double track input. Now the third thing we're going to talk about, again in the same uh, the same element, is the fact that you open up an old project, and let's say you mastered this track, but you come back, you know, a month later, and you know you have a vocalist now, and they're going to drop some vocals on it. Well. On your master, you might have all kinds of filters on it. And one of those may be a reverb or it may be a delay. And if that's the case, when that person is actually trying to do their vocals, they're going to hear that. Because 16, you know, or whatever track you're on, is traveling through that master. And then through the master, it's going to go to the headphones. So in that process, you're going to hear all of the different effects that you have on that on the voice. It won't record that way but they're still gonna hear it, it's gonna be annoying, they're not gonna be able to do their job properly. So, the easiest way of uh, resolving this problem is just going to the master and shutting off any filters that you might have there. Now, the vocalist doesn't need the track to sound mastered or nice and clean, they just need to be able to hear um, where they're gonna lay you know, their vocals down, they need to be able to hear their vocals clearly. So once they lay their portion down, you can just turn this back on. You can add any type of filter you want on their vocals and so forth. So if you follow these steps, you should be able to eliminate 
uh, any delay that you get in the headphones and you should be able to be, move forward in production. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. If you have any comments, any questions, please leave them uh, in the comment area and I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thank you.